Pretty Boy Floyd, killed in hail of federal bullets. Agents trap him in Ohio. Number one enemy dies. Department of Justice finishes nationwide search for Desperado with fatal shooting. Published October 23rd, 1934. By the Associated Press. East Liverpool, Ohio, October 2nd, AP. The long arm of the Department of Justice caught up with Charles Pretty Boy Floyd, violent criminal of the Ozarks, near hero today, and snuffed out his life in a hail of rifle, pistol, and machine gun bullets. Federal agents and police came upon the number one public enemy at a lonely farm seven miles north of this city, in a section much like the country where he was born and raised. Fifty or more shots rang out as the officers halted the criminal's flight, and he fell mortally wounded, unable to use either of the two automatics he was carrying. Who tipped you? Quickly, the officers, including four Department of Justice men and four East Liverpool policemen, came up to his prostate form. Who the hell tipped you? demanded the dying man as they approached him. Then he inquired, where is Eddie? Apparently, he referred to Adam Reschetti, captured Saturday near Wellsville, Ohio, when he and Floyd engaged other officers in a gun battle. Just before he died, Floyd said to Melvin Purvis, head of the Justice Department's Bureau of Investigation in Chicago, I am Floyd. It was apparent that Floyd knew he was dying. Wounded eight times, Police Chief Hugh J. McDermott of East Liverpool, who participated in the final rundown of the criminal, said Floyd was wounded at least eight times and possibly twenty by the officer's guns. Floyd died about fifteen minutes after he was shot after officers were carrying him to a nearby road where they had an automobile to take him to a hospital. Death came to Floyd in the same violent manner in which he had lived. At the time he was slain, he was the principal figure in a nationwide search being sought as the trigger man in the Kansas City Union Station machine gun massacre in which five men were shot to death in June 1933. The officers who caught up with Floyd today were led by Purvis, the federal operative who tracked down the notorious John Dillinger, sought refuge. When the officers came upon Pretty Boy, he was talking to S. L. Dyke, farmhand employed by Mrs. Ellen Conkle, endeavoring to persuade him to take him to Youngstown, where he thought he might find refuge. As the officers approached, Floyd hid under a corn bin, but changed his mind at the last minute and started running for an automobile. Then he turned and ran across a pasture towards a wooden ridge. Purvis commanded him to halt. The command went unheeded. Continue to run. The officers pointed their guns and loosed a volley. Floyd continued to run until additional bullets found their mark. Purvis hurried to the prostate form, eager to catch the dying man's last words. Some of Floyd's final words were heard by several of the others, but some were heard only by the Department of Justice leader, and these Purvis refused to reveal. Later, Floyd's body was brought to a mortuary here and placed on a slab. The body had hardly arrived before a crowd of at least 500 persons collected outside, much as another crowd gathered a few months ago when Purvis led the raid that ended in the death of Dillinger at Chicago.